The format of the equation to solve percent increase and decrease problems is the same as the general format for solving all percent equations. Here, um, that equation is written out, specifying that it is an increase or decrease problem. So we have the amount or number of increase is equal to the percent of increase times the original amount or the number before the increase, which is the base. The amount or number of decrease is the percent of decrease times the original amount or the number before the decrease. For an increase situation, we often use the original amount plus the amount of increase is equal to the new amount. And for a decrease situation, we'll often use the original amount minus the amount of decrease equals to the new amount. So when you know the original amount um, and the new amount, the amount of increase or amount of decrease can be found by subtracting the larger number from the smaller number. All right, Dimitri's nutritionist suggested he decreases calorie intake by 10%. He used to eat 2,300 calories a day. How many calories should he eat if he decreases the amount by 10%? Well, we want to do 10% of the number of calories, so this would be 10% of 2300. So 10% of 2300 is 230. And now we're talking about the decrease. So he originally had 2300 calories a day. He wants to decrease by 230. So that comes out to be 2070 calories a day. Kay's annual salary was $35,320. Her boss just told her she'd make $30,500 next year. What percent of increase is that? So what we have is the amount of increase. So what we need is the amount of increase is equal to the percent of increase times the original amount. So we know it was at $35,320. And now she makes $30,500. So it's not the $30,500 interested in, it's the amount of increase. So the first thing we need to do on the side, $30,500 minus the $35,320. So I'll just put that in the calculator. 38,500 minus 35,320. So it was a $3,180 increase. And that's equal to some unknown percent times 35,320. So in this case, percent's unknown, so I want to divide. 3,180 divided by 35,320. So 3,180 divided by 35,320. So that comes out to be uh, 0 0.0900. So that's about 9.0% to the nearest tenth of a percent. So when working with percent applications, it is important to know the base, what base you're using for the percent. That is, what that whole thing is that should be 100%. In other words, a percent is always a percent of some base, and you need to know what that base is. So for example, Maria was making $30,000, but her boss tells her times are tough, so she'll have to take a 20% decrease in salary next year. The following year, the boss says the company did much better, and so Maria can have a 20% raise to get back to where she was. Does she get back to the original salary? Well, let's start with the 30% uh, the 20% decrease. So we're doing 20% of her salary at the time was $30,000. So that would be 0.2 times 30,000, and that's $6,000. So 
What that means is that her salary decreased by $6,000. So salary would be the $30,000 minus the $6,000 decrease. So her salary is now $24,000. So the following year, she had a 20% raise. That's going to be 20% of that $24,000. And that comes out to be... Uh, 4,800. So if I go 24,000 plus 4,800, that means her new sa her current salary is 28,800. So she's actually still making less than she did originally. She made 30,000, but a 20% decrease dropped it to 24,000. And then a 20% increase of that increased it to 28,800. So what percent would Maria need to have at the end of the year so that her salary would be back to her starting salary of 30000 So in this case, she wants to get to 30000 Her current salary is 24000 Oops. Let's try that again. So her current salary is 24000 Ah, man. One more time. Her current salary is twenty-four thousand. Uh, we're trying to find um, the percent and the percent of increase. So to get from twenty-four thousand to thirty thousand would be a six thousand dollar increase. So in this case, I would have to go six thousand divided by twenty-four thousand. That would be one fourth or twenty-five percent. So to get back to her original salary, she would need a 25% raise. All right, one last problem here. What whole number can you substitute for x in this um, in each list in this list of numbers here, so that the numbers are ordered from least to greatest? So uh, let's consider um, in terms of this right here. Let's take these ones right here. I know I need my x to be larger, um, x to be large enough so that x over 4 is more than 68%. So 1 fourth is 25%, 2 fourths is 50%, 3 fourths is 75%. So this is telling me that x is equal to 3 or larger. Ah. Let's try it again. X is, is 3 or larger. Now let's consider this part right here. We need the X over 5 to be less than 68%. Well, 1 fifth is 20%. That's good. 2 fifths is 40%. That's good. 3 fifths is 60%. That's good. 4 fifths is 80%. That's too high. So this part is telling me that uh, X is 3 or less. And right off the bat, the only way you can be three or more, or three or less, is that x has got to be three. So if I check it, one third is about 33%. That's less than three fifths, which is 60%. That's less than 68%. And that's less than three fourths, which is 75%. So our answer here is that x has to be three.